Okay, now oh. we're here tonight to see the game. The faceoff is about to start. And the faceoff drops. UCI controls it, but it comes over to the other player. I can get a team, team name. Oh, yeah, it's Riverside. I mean, uh, Riverton. Riverton. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I didn't get the team's name. Okay, behind the net, uh, UCI shoots it out to the top. Defenseman holds it on the line, and it comes back out. Crossing through the neutral zone, goes into the near corner. UCI is fighting behind the net. UCI brings it out front, takes a shot. Rebound off the goalie. Comes out, it's in the neutral zone, going back. Defenseman tried to clear it. Riverton player crossed it back over to the net. UCI shoots it behind the net. Okay, UCI has control of the puck coming up to the, the blue line into the neutral zone. Riverton shovels it back into the zone. UCI across the pass. He gets it through. We're coming up. We've got uh, one through four. He weaves through, but uh, Riverton takes the puck. UCI gains control. They slap it back in for a quick line change. UCI has just stolen the puck, took a shot, came off the goalie's shoulder. They're fighting behind the net, and as the puck shoots through, UCI takes it, drops it back, put in front. Riverton pushes it outside. It goes over the blue line into the neutral zone. UCI comes back, controlling the puck, puts it to center ice. It's knocked off his stick by the Riverton player. UCI is still bringing it across the blue line through the neutral zone into the attack, and we've got an offside player. And this is the UCI South Lone Wolves Junior Varsity against the Riverton Junior Varsity. UCI South is in maroon and gold. Riverton in white with blue letters. Riverton is controlling the puck coming up. They got one across, four defenders. Goes into the near corner. Riverton shoots it back out. UCI stops the pass. Coming through the boards. Riverton pushes in, centers it. UCI has the, oh, we got a wild shot that went to the right of the net. That's straight at the goalie. Yeah, no, the goalie didn't touch it. We have an icing call coming back to center rise. A multiple line change. As you probably noticed in the last games, whenever they have a call like this, both teams take advantage for a full line change. Puck goes down. Four players fighting for the puck comes through. Goalie pushes it behind the net. UCI brings the puck up. Riverton holds it in. Pushes it through the ice to the far corner. Okay. UCI player wasn't fast enough to get up to the puck. Riverton got ahead of him, and it's held down for an icing. I hope we don't have a lot of the icing calls tonight. That kind of slows up the game. Puck is down. UCI controls it. Bounce off the wall. UCI has got it. Coming in, it's going to the wall. A couple Heard players a went down there. Brett Johnson was knocked down, and when he went down, he knocked the Riverton player off his feet. Faceoff comes all the way back into the near corner. Riverton holds it. UCI takes the puck away from him. 
UCI is coming on to one on one. Through, pass across. Oh, good shot. And they got the puck in the net. The shot missed, the rebound went to the player, and the player was able to push it through and get it into the net. Looked like Peyton Grace on the goal, but the, that breakaway was the key to that and controlling the puck on a good, good pass and good shot there. Yeah, a lot of times those breakaways don't result in a score, but the rebounds are what happened. UCI tried to pass it across, mishandled the puck. You hear the player pound his stick, that means he's wide open and he wants a pass. Slow pass across the ice. UCI tried to pass it to the Riverton player, got poked away. Riverton comes up with a puck. Okay, we have a one-on-one -on -one shot, but the goalie parries it to the side with a stick. UCI put it up. Riverton pushed it back out into the neutral zone. Okay. UCI had two players offside, but they skated outside. Play continues. Riverton poked it off his stick, takes it back, goes around behind the net to regroup. Players are spread out. They try to pass the puck across the ice. UCI player fell down, got up, saved the puck, shot it up. Whoa, we had a high sticking possibility there. I th appears to me that the JV team is able to outskate the Riverton team a little bit. This is what happened in the last game that we were at. And after the first period, the other coach talked to his team, gave them a good pep talk, and they came out and played much better. Line change again. So far tonight, with 6.47 left in the first period, shots on goal three to one in favor of UCI South. <clears throat> One to nothing is our score here in the first period. Okay. Actually, we've got too many players trying to get control of that puck at the same time, which is gonna hurt the team that loses control. Okay, UCI caught up with the player that had the breakaway for a short time. UCI digs it out away from the, the wall Shot across, bounces off the wall to the Riverton player. He passes it up. Their forward was offside. I'm not sure where that last pass was going because it went to nobody but the River Riverton player. And, and yeah. so I'm not sure exactly what the what that was. It was, looked like a wild pass. Yeah. Let, I'll give the UCI player a benefit of the doubt. Sometimes they want to pass it to a certain player and they don't see a, the opponent coming from nowhere and it goes right to the opponent. We have a breakaway two on two. Their slap shot's a little harder than they're usually taking. Uh, perhaps they've been practicing like I suggested last time. They must be listening to Al over here. I don't know how. <laughs> Okay, he weaves through the players and takes it into the near corner. Riverton player takes him off the puck. Um, UCI gets control. Riverton's coming down with the puck into the neutral zone. UCI pushes it off, another Riverton player picks it up and it's shot into the zone, bounces off the wall. It comes out, UCI pushes it farther, but it goes back in. UCI has the puck, bringing it up into the neutral zone. He skates around a player. He's wide open, takes a shot, but it goes way off to the mark to the right. Brings that down with his hand. That puck went right between the skates of two players. 
They're going to have to come out to center ice again and regroup. Uh, we're going to have an icing call here. I think the Riverton players are a little tentative. Yeah, Simeon Wadsworth, number six for UCI South, was able to get a couple of shots in the last few minutes. It, he's not getting real close, but he is getting the shots off, so he's not afraid to take that shot. Uh, you can't score if you don't take a shot. Okay, puck stays in. Whistle blew, I didn't see what it was for. Referees picked up the puck coming out to the center ice for a face-off. Okay, UCI pushes it out. He's got a breakaway. We've got uh, one on two. Slap shot bounces off the front of the goalie. UCI takes another rebound shot. Uh, he hit the ice on that slap shot. That'll slow it down. We what? had... Three of the Riverton players standing in the crease. It's kind of hard to get puck through that wall. Okay. UCI is weaving through the crowd. He pushes it up. Right wing misses the pass. Goes back to the defenseman. He tried to pass the puck through the Riverton player, but the Riverton player stopped him and couldn't get in. Oh, he missed a shot, it went right through the crease. He picks it up on the far wall. He comes back. Uh, very easy, slow moving puck right to the goalie. A lot of action down there right in front of the Riverton goalie. Last a few minutes ago, they had just about everybody on the ice right in front of that yeah, Goal. like I say, you got everybody in front of the net. It's kind of hard to get the puck through them. Okay, puck comes out to the neutral zone. UCI has it. Uh, UCI players ran into each other and knocked each other down on that one. Ah, uh, he's offside. He didn't control it. The referee let the play continue. Comes down into the near corner. UCI trying to get it out. Riverton pushes it in front of the net. Riverton got a shot off, but the goalie put his pad down and pushed it off to the side. Riverton's finally showing a little bit of life. The shot goes wide to the right of the net. Uh, again, stick hits the ice and slowed down the slap shot. Okay, we have a semi-breakaway here. Uh, we've got a shot coming in from the right side, but it's a two-week. UCI player ran into the player on the wall, knocked himself down. Player, The puck is held in by the UCI player standing on the line. Riverton is back covering it. Uh, had a good charge there. Took control of the puck, brings it over to the side. He's working along the wall, but he can't get it out. Um, passed across to the near wall. Uh, Riverton has the puck. UCI skates past him and he trips. We had a shot just over the goalie's head. He grabbed it with a glove and dropped it down. Okay, Riverton cleared it into the zone for an icing call. Coming down close to the end of the first period, still one to nothing for UCI South. They've got a seven to two shots on goal lead and what is That's that? Uh, one minute, 14, 13 seconds left. 
Goes in right to the goalie, pushes it to the side, but he pushed it in front of the Riverton player. Puck goes behind the net. UCI gets to it, goes around the player, pushes it forward. He's coming into the neutral zone. Riverton ran into the referee. He had a shot, but the goalie had a good block on it. UCI knocks it back into the central area. They've got to come back, clear it into the from the neutral zone. Wadsworth had a good breakaway there and had a, a fairly good shot, just a good goaltending by the, the Riverton goalie there to stop that. UCI brings the puck. It's just over the line. Now it's coming through the neutral zone. Shot goes behind the net. UCI is trying to keep it in. They've got the puck going deeper, and it shoots back into the neutral zone. All the way back across behind the net for an icing call. You got a change at 20 seconds to go in the first period, and, and they had that line change fairly late in that period. And the puck is about to go down. UCI brings it out. UCI pushes it into the open. Uh, they get the control of the puck, bring it. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Uh, come off the goalie's left shoulder. Came across the blue line, and UCI player tried to bring it back in, but it was offside. Uh, doesn't matter. It's... End of the first period. Yep. Lone Wolves with a 1-0 lead here. It's still anybody's game, but UCI seems to be in control of the puck most of the time. A little change of the eyewear. You have your reading glasses on? Well, I'm having a tr little bit of a difficult time seeing the numbers and I'm trying to figure out which pair of glasses will work because I've got some for a computer I've got some for reading I've got some for normal and none of them seem to work for hockey yeah my wife does the <laughs> same thing she's got two pair of glasses and the ones that she wears are the old ones not the new prescription says, I see better with the old ones yeah well my eyes change from morning to night. I mean, once yeah. I get tired or I get more blood yeah, if sugar. If you're going to have an eye examination, kind of have stuff. it uh, an hour or two either side of noon. Because when you first get up in the morning and in the afternoon, your eyes are different. I found that out the hard way. So have I. <laughs> if any of you have ever played basketball and run her up and down on that court and you think you're in really good shape, you ought to try skating hockey. That's why they have so many line changes. It's hard work out there. Okay, they change ends. UCI is coming from the left, going to the right. Riverton is defending the right goal, going to the left. Puck comes back to the UCI team. He passes it forward. The defenders of Riverton take it. UCI has pushed him off the puck, but the U Riverton player still has control. They pass across the ice. It goes past the Riverton player into the boards. Okay, we're going to have another face-off here. <clears throat> These teams are having a problem staying on side tonight. Riverton controls the puck and shoots it into the behind the net. UCI will come back and pick it up. He passes it in front of himself, but the Riverton player gets it. Riverton is holding it in pretty well. They take a slap shot that's about three to four feet wide on the left of the net. UCI has picked the puck up and they're coming forward. Ah, they got two players off sides.
JV team needs to watch the varsity team. Varsity stays on side a lot better. <laughs> When you want to score, it's really hard to hold back. And UCI has the puck. They've got five UCI players all trying to get the puck from each other. They bring it down, they take a weak shot that's pushed off into the near corner. He sh shoots it back around the corner. Riverton controls it. It's knocked off his stick. UCI takes a shot. The goalie covers it up. Have a face off to the right of the goalie. Well, like you said, that just skating is a lot of hard work, let alone figuring out how to pass and where to be on the on the ice. Yeah. And the players are not exactly out there skating in shorts. Uh, the equipment they wear gets pretty heavy after a while. We must be having some kind of an equipment problem. Okay, we're ready to go on the faceoff. Puck is down. UCI controls it. Goes behind their net. Uh, excuse me. Riverton controls it. UCI tries to pass across. Riverton's got a break one-on-one. -on -one. He's coming in. UCI blocked his stick. He couldn't get the shot off. Puck is across the rink. UCI feeds it up to the forward. The forward is onside. Shot goes to the goalkeeper. Rebound drops in front and he smothers it. Peyton Grace down there on the offensive, trying to force that in there into the net. It, good, good job by the goalie to keep that out. UCI gets the puck, but it goes weakly. The goalie covers up again. Back for another faceoff to the left of the goalie. Okay, Riverton controlled the puck, but they lost it. UCI takes it around behind the net. Oh, went right across the crease. UCI player was standing right there, but it was just out of his reach. Riverton has the puck. It's going down. Across the line for icing. Taylor McIntyre. Taylor has to get to that puck before it gets to that back line. Uh, if he gets to it, he's controlling it on a pass instead of offside. Riverton has the puck behind the net. UCI steals it. UCI brings it from behind the net. Got it along the far wall. It's outside the zone, comes in. Riverton will get to the puck. UCI uh, couldn't keep it out. Uh, uh, bounced off the hockey's knee pads. It comes across. Riverton passes it out. The uh, right defenseman takes it, takes a slap shot, and we have a goal. I think that was on a ricochet. It's Simeon Wadsworth is the one that took that shot from back almost to the blue line. It looked like it went right off of the goalie's face mask, and <coughs> then a ricocheted back in for the goal, and it's two to nothing. Yeah. It's one of those the goalies wish they could take over. Okay. Passes. Okay, UCI has the puck coming into the corner. Riverton takes it away. 
puck is back in the neutral zone and we have a two on three. Riverton player got upended, but it's clean play. Number two is coming in with the puck, takes a shot, goes wide left of the net, but not by much. Okay, we have a penalty against the Riverton for tripping, I believe. That's going to be 71 for Riverton. That's Taylor. Uh, actually, it was for slashing. So Cody Taylor in the penalty box. Okay. Punt goes back. It's kept into the zone. Goes around the far corner. UCI takes control. Riverton has the puck. They should be able to scoot it down and kill a little bit of the clock. He's bringing it in. UCI tried to clear that puck and missed it. Riverton is keeping the puck. It goes outside into the neutral zone. <clears throat> UCI overskated the puck, or he would have had a fairly good breakaway. They have to hold the puck and wait for the team to get back on side. Okay, UCI takes the puck back in their end, coming around the near boards. Oh, he lost his stick. Oh, that was not a very strong shot, but it went to the right of the goalie. They finally got it cleared. Yeah, Jennifer Woodhall is the one that lost her stick. Had to go back and get it. And Riverton took a slap shot that kind of bounced sideways instead of going at the goal. Okay, UCI is bringing the puck up. They've got a three on two break here. Uh, there's no, no space to shoot there. He just went right straight into the goalie. Okay, UCI is bringing the puck into the zone again. Had a okay, couple of good cleared. Good Didn't shots. go to center ice, but the uh, Riverton pulled it into the neutral zone. He's bringing it on one on two. He loses a puck to UCI. Okay, UCI players got the puck coming one on one. Oh, goalie made a good stop that time. Got his pad, got his arm pad down and blocked the puck high. When it came back, covers it up. And just to give you an example of how good the Riverton goalie has played, it's a two to nothing lead for UCI South, but shots on goal are 20 to three. Yeah. Of course, one thing that helps that Riverton goalie is that a lot of the shots are very weak. But right now, all it needs is two. Okay, puck is down. Riverton controls it. He comes out to the defenseman holding it in. He took a shot. Goalie parried it up. UCI has got the puck. Goes back into the right corner. Riverton goes to the puck first. Riverton has the puck. They can't clear it. UCI has taken the puck. We got two UCI players fighting for the puck with one Riverton. Goes out to the center ice. A goalie's covered up on that slap shot. <clears throat> okay, 
The UCI goaltender is not getting a lot of work out tonight like he usually does. I was going to say, he's down there like a, a man on an island all by himself in this period. Yeah. My daughter played goalie the first year. Oh, they clear the puck out, goes over the blue line into the neutral zone. And I had a really good team, and she got tired of being in the goal because she didn't get to handle and play with the ball. He's down there. Yeah. Trying to stay awake instead of playing hockey. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep your head in the game when you're not in the game. Okay, we're coming down into the uh, UCI zone now for a face-off. UCI doesn't win very many of these. If they can get this face-off, and they do, uh, they get their sticks blocked and they can't get a shot off. Goalie caught the puck on a bounce. Gives the referee for the other face-off. Uh, UCI controls it, brings it up. Uh, we got a fairly good shot. Went straight at the goalie. He was able to cover it fairly easy with his hat, with his pad. <clears throat> UCI player, they were trying to pass the puck to him. They kept hitting him in the feet. And he didn't know where the puck was. Yeah, Johnson. Shot goes through the bit. net. Or goes through the crease of the net. UCI just poked that puck right off of the player. Shot bounces off the goalie. Catches that one and stops it. That almost four minutes left in the period up there. 351, still a two to nothing ball or a match here. It's nice someone else calls it a ball game. Yeah, you, you can't say ball game. Maybe you can say puck game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing better than I did. Yeah, UCI has it behind the net. As they fight to bring it out to center to somebody, he gets it around. Goalie had it blocked, but he couldn't reach it to stop it. Riverton has a breakaway, but UCI gets back and takes it away. Rencher He's did trying a good to get job the puck there. across the net. He does, but it goes all the way through. Riverton has got the puck. We have a two-on-one break. Okay, the pass was a little weak, and the UCI player just parried it off to the wall. Okay, UCI is coming in. He's going to cross at a center. He takes it in around behind the net. He tried it to get a shot, but it bounced off of the skate of the Riverton player. Okay, UCI has it. Uh-oh, bad idea. Fortunately for the UCI player, he was on the side of him when he took him down, but the referee's not going to allow it. <clears throat> he might even give him a penalty shot. Doesn't appear he's going to give him a penalty shot. If you have a breakaway like that on the ice and you're fouled completely from the rear, the referees 99% of the time will give you a penalty shot where you come to the blue line and you get to skate right at the goalie and you get one shot to get it in the net with no defenders but you and the goalie. Puck goes around behind the net. UCI is controlling. Three UCI players on this side comes to the wall out into the neutral zone into the other end. Riverton passes it back. Uh, it's kept into the Riverton end. Goal, it parries it off to the side of the corner. Riverton bringing the puck up, trying to get it across the blue line. Loses the puck, UCI is bringing it back. We have uh, two on two, and There's we have a goal. There's the shot. 
And he's gonna score. <clears throat> That's number 14 for UCI South. And once again, that's Caden Remmond. Three to nothing. Okay, face off, UCI controls it finally. Two players in the face off lost sight of the puck. UCI is bringing it back. Riverton's pressuring. UCI is able to skate around the two players, passes it up, brings it across the blue line. Whoops, he fanned on the pass. Maybe he was trying to shoot it. Okay, puck comes through the neutral zone. It's back in the defending area. Waving off the icing call. UCI takes it behind the net and passes it up. Bounces off the skate. He comes across. UCI gets to the puck. The puck was rolling instead of going flat. UCI tries to get a shot. They do get a shot. And There's another one. That's going to score. score. Goalie didn't catch that last shot, and it rebounded right in front of the UCI player. Gave him an easy open net. Alex Bollard with that with that goal. And it's not a surprise that it's a four-nothing lead for UCI, because if you look at the players, they've got a lot more uh, height and power behind them than the Riverton team. Yeah. There's uh, one or two players in the UCI team that are short, of smaller stature. But uh, that's not slowing them down. I had a gal on my soccer team that was from the Philippines. And she was a good foot to a foot and a half shorter than the other players on the team. And it didn't slow her down a bit. She was very fierce. UCI has got the puck. Trying to get it across the blue line. All right. Riverton gets a shot. Doesn't get to the goalie, though. They Trying to get the puck out and finally get it across the blue line into the neutral zone. <coughs> Riverton gets the puck and the end of the period. Yeah, the end of two, and it's a four to nothing lead for UCI South over Riverton Ju Junior Varsity. Shots on goal tonight, 27 to five. Yeah. And that shows the dominance, at least in uh, being able to take the shots. They've got a few shots uh, that ricocheted off for goals and that's why they lead four to nothing. Yeah, the uh, teams are not well balanced player against player. Uh, Riverton's really doing a fair job of, of uh, battling, but UCI is just getting to that puck first. I was reading uh, an article in the Herald about the, uh, the Lone Wolves team, UCI South, about how in 2012 they went undefeated in league went into the playoffs and lost a game and ended up in the loser's bracket, and they ended up coming back winning it all anyway. They had a wake-up call there that caused them to regroup and focus, I guess. With, when they lost that game, they had to come back and go yeah. through the... Yeah, coaches did a little bit of work with them after their first two games. They got some nice lively music for us tonight. Makes you want to get out on the ice and start dancing. 
to make you want to get out on the ice and start dancing out? Well, maybe not on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having a face-off in the third period. UCI muscles through the pack. He's trying to get clear for a shot, but the Riverton player gets... Uh, yeah, I thought there was going to be a penalty on that one. I was looking at the wrong referee. The referee over by the net's the one that had his arm up. That was a slashing penalty. Could have been a slashing or tripping, either one. Okay, down for the faceoff. Uh, UCI gets a shot off. The goalie smothers the shot fairly easily. Looks like it almost squeaked between his legs. UCI's got control again. Oh, that puck almost bounced in. Took a shot, came off the side of the net, goes behind it. They're trying to force it in through the wall of players. Uh, they've got two players and a goalie in front of that net. He's wove all the way through there. No goal. I didn't see what he called. Jason Retcher is the one that tried to shoot that. The goalie was able to stop it, but now we've got. Uh, we got a slashing call against the UCI player. Here in the <laughs> JV South Division, UCI South JV has two points and Riverton's JV is zero. So two teams at the bottom of the standings here trying to battle it way back into some kind of contention here in the in the league. Yeah, I got a kick out of number 14 there that uh, Caden Redmond uh, doing a little dance on the ice to the music in the stoppage of play. Buck shoots through the crease, comes back out. Uh, Caden gets control. He's weaving around two players. Takes a wide shot, but there's people in front. Oh, he fanned on the shot. UCI is still in control of the puck. Shot goes wide right of the net. Uh, passed it back. Nobody's going to be able to play that. Riverton has the puck coming up into this UCI zone. Bounces off the stick and goes high. Riverton's got control of the puck again. Centers back across, but it went right underneath the UCI player in front of the Riverton. Riverton. Oh, that was a good slap shot. It was a little bit to the right of the net, though. UCI is weaved through, takes a high shot, goes across over the goalie. UCI is keeping it in their opponent's end here down. Riverton's trying to get something out with it. Uh, he tries to shovel it in the net. UCI has kept it in there. You'd never know the UCI had the man advantage there. Buck bounces to the left of the net. Uh, UCI ices the puck. In JV South Division, it's the Salt Lake Stars JV with six points leading. You know, we haven't seen them yet to this year, but they've got six points to lead the league. So it doesn't, it'll only take a couple of, of matches to get back into it if they can get a couple of wins here. Yeah. 
Well, UCI is fighting on the boards. They get the buck into the neutral zone. Riverton controls it. They get the puck back into the net, into the UCI zone. UCI forces him off, and he takes control of the puck. He comes back in, but there's a player offside. He knew it was offside. That's why that stick hit the ice. Yeah, number three there for UCI. That's Sid Francis. Puts his stick behind his back and kind of showed a little bit of frustration on that call. Yeah. As Chick Hearn used to say, he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> you know who Chick Hearn was. Oh, yeah. You got to love it, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I don't think most of our audience is going to know who Chick Hearn was. <laughs> okay, the puck is around the net. Riverton has the ball, has the puck. Okay, it's all the way down across the line. Riverton's got control, comes back the other way behind the net. They're bringing it out across the ice. And he's got a clear one-on-one. -on -one. He gets through there. Goalie parries it off with his stick. Catches it with his glove but drops it. UCI picks it up and he's coming back across. He's skating through. Comes in between. Drops the puck off. UCI holds it back into the zone. Riverton has the puck to the board, but UCI gets to it first. Wrencher took that away, tried to get down and got it kind of knocked away and then there got too many people in the, in the way there to make a good yeah. shot. UCI controls the puck, takes a shot, but it bounces off his own player. He gets control, comes back in, tries to go between two players and doesn't make it. Riverton's bringing the puck up, gets to center ice, but UCI is on the puck, takes control, and UCI brings it back in as a one on two, poked away by the player behind. He gets a puck free, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, puck hits center ice. The Riverton player is trying to outmuscle that number two. Uh, number two, I think, is the shortest player on the team, and he wasn't muscled off the puck one on one. Now uh, the, the goalie blocked the shot and then shoveled it out with his stick. Passed up to the forward. Riverton's coming up to the puck. He gets to the puck, but he doesn't get the shot through. Bounces off the goalie's pad. Apparently the goalie has it covered up. They had a pretty good opportunity to score there. The puck was uh, behind the goalie, but they, they didn't get a stick on it and put it in the net. And Jennifer Woodhall, number 20, was down there as the defenseman and she did a, a pretty good job of getting in the way just enough to to get the the goalie a chance to make that play there riverton controls the puck but it goes back into uci's possession shot bounces off the uci comes to center ice riverton is controlling but they got a man offside uci steals it Goes up too long on the front pass. Okay. UCI's got a man offside. They can't do anything. He's offside. That time it was called, so. Fallon Seddon was uh, offside. The player had the puck and saw him offside, so he didn't try to do anything. And when he got possession of the puck, come back up. Player jumped back offside again. Yeah. 
UCI has a puck coming across the blue line. He goes through, centers it. Uh, Riverton player blocks it with his stick. Pucks out into the neutral zone. Kind of a weak shot went behind the net there. Riverton player tried to take out the UCI player and ended up on the ice himself. Um, Riverton player goes down on the ice. It's back into the neutral zone. Fighting for it on the far boards. UCI has the puck, brings it off to the outside. Coming through center ice. Through. There's a goal! That's right. He got around two players and put it onto the upper right hand corner. Caden Redmond again. Raymond was able to get that goal with 431 left here in the third period and, and South leads at five to nothing over Riverton. So UCI South is making a statement right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a long five minutes for that Riverton team. UCI keeps getting four checked, but the, he gets the puck and pushes it through anyway. Ah, 21, Peyton Grace was offside. Haven't been a lot of penalties in the penalty box tonight. Puck comes over to the near wall. UCI comes up to the boards, passes it, passes it back to center ice. Riverton gets to the puck, shovels it in. UCI takes possession. He's coming across the ice. He loses the puck. He gets bumped into the boards. Uh-oh. We got a little shoving match going on. The referee's looking at the players, waiting to see who does what. Okay, UCI's got the puck coming back in. Yeah, Simeon Wadsworth. And number 14 for Riverton would kind of jostling around with that, and then they started with their sticks. So it was. Yeah, the referee saw what they were doing and kind of waited to see if anything was going to come of it. But they finally realized it's a hockey game. Get back in the game. Yeah, I went. I went to a boxing match one time, and a hockey game or a hockey match actually broke out in the middle of the the fight. I've seen a few of those on TV <laughs> myself. UCI has the puck going into the far corner. Oh, goalie tried to clear it out, but he didn't get it to the blue line. The Riverton player held it in. Comes out to the defenseman on the far side. He keeps it in. UCI gets it up. Goes into the center ice. UCI's got it through. Uh, the pass on that should have gone right to the left winger. Left winger takes the puck, shoots it off. Goalie smothers the shot. So we'll have a face off. UCI South had a few shots on goal there. Number 87, that is Alex Bullard, he, he had that last shot right in front of the goal and the goalie was able to knock it away. Riverton controls the puck but, shoot, but shoots it all the way down into the UCI zone. Goalie comes over, takes it out, passes up to the defenseman who takes it around. He's almost pushed off the puck but he gets it up Uh, 
I didn't see what was called there, but it's coming all the way back in defensive zone for the UCI. Puck goes down on the faceoff. UCI controls it, tries to pass and hits a Riverton player. Takes it behind the net. He brings it out. Passed it through the cre passed it through the neutral zone. Riverton's passing it back and forth in the neutral zone. It comes all the way back here. And UCI has it up through the neutral zone. Went a little far for the icing call. Two oh one left here in the third period. Got another face off. UCI has the puck and he skates around two people. He steals it from the Riverton player. Outskates another one. Oh, he missed the shot. He bounced it right off the goalie's shoulder. Had a wide open net about a six inches higher. Goalie is trying to cover it up. Goes around behind the net. Riverton's able to block it with their stick. UCI brings the puck out to the blue line. Skates around. And the puck goes over and hits the netting. Raymond with a couple of more shots on, on goal there. And he they're keeping the pressure on. They've got everybody down in the net. And there's just nowhere for that puck to go. Yeah, yeah there's very little opportunity to score once the River to team gets three, four players in front of that net. Comes back to UCI, he backhands a shot, but it misses. Comes up to the near boards. Riverton has passed it to the far board. Comes in across the blue line. UCI is four checking him off the puck. Uh, we have a push out to the center ice. UCI is bringing it from behind their uh, net. Skated the entire team. Shot goes wide to the left of the post. It comes out, goes into the neutral zone. UCI pushes it back to their player who gets it back across the blue line. Goes to the center ice. Riverton tried to clear the puck. They finally do get it back into the neutral zone. Have a, oh, we got a fight breakout. Yeah, they waited till the last six seconds of the match before they decided to get in a scuffle right at center yeah. ice. Well, they were both going for the puck, and they just collided head on, and neither player liked the idea that the other one ran into him. Now he says, what did I do? And they're both going to go to the penalty box. Yeah, it was mutual combat. Initially, there was no foul on the play. It's just they ran into each other. Simeon Wadsworth for South. There's only 5.3 seconds left. It's a 5 nothing lead, so it's kind of incidental as far as what, what's going to end up happening in the match. But yeah. they got to call it. Oh, yeah. Well, frustration really pops up there when you don't have any goals. It doesn't matter if it's one to nothing or two to nothing. It doesn't matter. If you don't have any goals, you get frustrated. You're talking about the dancing. The goalie down there is just having all kinds of fun right now. He's doing his swing. Is he dancing to the music? Oh, yeah. Fifty some seconds left. 
Yep, uh, 5.3. Oh, 5.3. And the puck scoots across the ice, comes all the way down into the zone, and that was 5.3 seconds. Yeah, that'll do it. Game's over. UCI South Varsity, or Junior Varsity 5, and Riverton Junior Varsity nothing. So a couple yeah. points for UCI. Moves them up a, to a tie for last place, but they're still, they're playing much better. Yeah, yeah. 